everyone, welcome back to my channel, Car Salvage 101. Um, I'm Alex, and we are going to be doing some car hunting this evening. Uh, this could be a video of literally a couple of auctions and I'll go and win one, or this could be a compilation of lots of different auctions because basically I don't get a car and this could be spread out over a couple of weeks. I don't know. All I know is that I'm technically back in the hunt for another car. And so we'll start off on the 17th of November with some cars that are coming into Copart tomorrow. We're just going to have a quick look over them and work out whether or not uh, they're worth bidding on. And yeah, so what I will say when I load these up is at the moment prices are all over the place and actually they're a lot higher they appear to be a lot higher than a good couple of months ago and I can't work out the reasons behind it now the reason it, it could literally be the way that the everything is i.e. inflation etc or it could be that um, other people are trying to make some money by flipping cars themselves or finally everyone's getting in on the act of I don't want to go to a dealer to get a car I'll go to Copart I'll get a car and I'll give it to my daughter um, and I'll do it up that way those are some of the options that I think is why the Fiat 500s now are certainly a bit higher don't get me wrong you can find a bargain but it's certainly a lot more difficult two so anyway yeah um so where do we start there's 20 so i keep saying i need to get a newer fiat 500 and i do keep thinking that um except on copart it's quite difficult to actually find newer ones certainly at the time i want to look to get one so we'll start with this one it's a 2011 Cat N, 63,000 miler, and it's got front end damage. Uh, V5 is on file, so that's good, and there is absolutely nothing. Oh no, maybe that's just going to load. Uh, previous Cat S, insurance loss. So, I'm assuming that this has a Cat S marker on it, even though, strangely, it's a Cat N here, so possibly cat s and then it's had another accident and they've deemed that as a cat n either way it's gone to auction because of it and as you can see from the bumper here that's the damage so that's just going to require a whole new bumper hopefully the drls are all good but you can recover most of that trim and that is i believe to be pretty much it there is very little else going on in the car. Now, where it was a Cat S is anyone's guess. Inside, it's quite nice, apart from the fact that that seat needs cleaning. And there doesn't appear any to be any documents. If we have a quick look at the front here, if it loads up. We've lost a tab here. But otherwise, this, uh, this here, which I think on the battery terminal is possibly something relating to like these black box things. Other than that, it would appear to be all good. So that's 250 and that is based at Sandwich. So I'm looking at maybe about 180 for delivery or so. I think it's about 94 in the lane so we're talking well into the afternoon before that one hits hits the auction but yeah 250 MOT history on this one shows it as a pass in April this year 56,000 so it's done what 10,000 is it no it's done uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 8,000 miles and pretty much all the tyres supposedly are, are are done pretty much although it's an advisory but they're all pretty much would need to be replaced 
and then the rear shocks have both got light misting on them. So that's one that I'm quite interested in. I don't think it's worth 3,900 estimated value, not at all. But we'll see how that one goes tomorrow. Second one, this is a Cat S, 42,000 on a 63 plate. So newer car, less miles. Primary damage is rear end, worth supposedly 4,700. Uh, no V5 and nothing here to indicate any further problems. Um, I should reiterate that these are at the moment both insurance jobs. So again, white at the moment, certainly from the front, no indication of any damage. However, around the back, this is going to be a Cat S something's gone on behind this bumper so I'd imagine the crash bar has gone but the boot or the tailgate whatever you want to call it appears to be unscathed and it appears to sit quite nicely as well we'll have a quick look at this side but obviously I don't know whether or not that's latching and I don't know the extent of... If we have a quick look, see if we can... Yeah, this is supposedly cut in. So it could well be that that rear crash bar has pushed in. A bit like my grey one that I've got has just pushed in to the rear ever so slightly. And that's got the Cat S marker. Other than that, there doesn't appear to be any other issues. They don't have any further photos. This is the rear. What you're hoping for is that they would have you know taken further photos but they haven't so we're going to assume that that crash bar has pushed in the rear here so yeah that is at sandwich again it's on a reserve but it is uh, an insurance job so 325 and that says 2002. So that could literally be the second car in the lane ready to go. Where normally people, or the uh, not a huge amount of people have joined the auction by then. So that could be worth a punt. Just might require a rear crash bar and a rear bumper. MOT on this one. Rear exhaust silencer missing but it's an advisory so I'm not 100% sure what they mean by that because it would appear it's possibly all there but anyway um, let me actually double check see that's had a pretty much clean MOT through most of its life so that's quite good so it's last one was September 22 so that wouldn't actually require really another MOT if I was to get that. So yeah, that that's quite tempting, but I don't see that. I see this one rising quite quickly. Then we have a 2011 Pop in grey, incredibly similar to the one I've got. It's a Cat N, 76,000 miles on the clock, uh, 2010. Primary damage is vandalism, no V5. Uh, estimated value is 2.9 because it's a pop. Um, additional information, two keys, so that's quite handy. Now, Whilst I'm not all for pops, let me just double check. So it's an X, it is an insurance job. Whilst I am not all for pops, uh, this has got air conditioning. So I had a quick look at this. So for some reason, this has come out. I don't really understand why it has, but it has. Oops. So, yeah. Um, I don't know but strangely when you look again I think possibly at this one 
part of that is back in there. So yeah, um, gear lever has been also changed as well. But anyway, we won't get bogged down on that. The main cause I think for the problem is here is this window's gone. There is currently no window in here at all. That potentially, obviously, would I would say is reasonably easy to fix. It's just a case of being patient and getting that in. It could well be that you've got to strip the whole door back and then you can just slot that in. Hopefully that, that would be the case. But yeah, and I've got I've got plenty of glass, so that should be fine. Uh, interesting exhaust pipe down here. But other than that, that is a pop, but with alloys and chrome on the front. Well, these aren't chromed, but you could add you could add those chrome strips to be fair. But it has got air conditioning, so it's pretty much a lounge, but it doesn't have the panoramic roof. That is being sold at Santoff, currently at six seven five on a pure sale. MOT on this one is one tire slightly damaged and the front service brake is fluctuating. That was done in August, so again, it wouldn't require an MOT. Final one of the day. We are jumping up now. Cat N, 43,000 miles, 65 plate. So that's 2015. Side damage. Estimated value five eight. It's in green. Uh, and additional information, nothing there. So this is the facelift pop. As you can see by here, they've changed out the hub caps, and the damage appears to be here, where we've potentially lost a wing mirror and the glass. There is nothing else that I can see that requires any other information. So it just says side. So, yeah, this needs pretty much like the last one, just needs that. Now, obviously, there is a bit more of a premium on this one. This is on reserve. It's currently up to 1,100 and that reserve has not been met. But as I say, this is in York. So we're looking at a lot more expensive to get it down. This is pretty much, I really, I think I'm more interested in the value of this rather than actually getting it because this would be quite expensive out the door if I'm being honest, I think. Certainly from being all the way down here. But I am quite interested. The history on this one is that both rear shockers are probably going to need replacing on this one. And that will definitely need a new MOT. So, tomorrow at midday, we are looking at, just to recap, a Cat N slash S 2011 lounge, a Cat S 2013 lounge, a Cat N 2011 pop, aka lounge, and a 2015 pop. Uh, cat in so that's what i'm looking at at co park tomorrow so uh yeah let's fast forward on um 16 hours and see how we get on just want to introduce you to this one which um it was a 2010 so that's why i wasn't interested but a 2010 40 odd thousand mile cat in pop is Whoa, nearly man. two grand at Santoff. That is an absolute insane amount of money, and I have no idea why on earth, if you look at it, why on earth you're gonna be bidding that kind Whoa, of money. Absolutely around. insane. So, first auction of the day, and I think it's literally like car number two at Sandwich, and I thought. With only literally just over 100 people watching it, that this actually uh, might sell quite cheap. So I was very interested in this one. To be fair, it was quite good that it was the first one on the books. But 
maybe a bit naive 2013 was I really gonna get a bargain um, at the same time ironically um, I was outside with a customer for the last 500 that I sold and therefore it was quite difficult to monitor this and also um, speak to them at the same time but luckily um, I was able to get in a bid and I was willing to sort of set myself a reasonable amount but I wasn't going to go too far um, certainly on a Cat S but it just was not going to go and I was just yeah it just was a I don't say a bit too rich but I think on a Cat S maybe on a Cat N I would have paid this kind of money but maybe not for a Cat S so allowed this one to run but this was going to be a no go not for me low mileage right so low mileage I'll do this pop coming up low mileage having seen the value I say value I mean seen nearly a 2010 pop I literally go from this site about 10 cars ago for just shy of two grand uh, cat in. I'm not really sure how this is going to go. So, we're currently 875. If it's. How many have we got on the. We've got 1182. It could well be that Sandhoff, unfortunately, is a Low mileage. place where prices just go insane. But. Low mileage. It might be worth a pun. Low mileage. For a. Um, 2011 is getting on. I really just don't want to do it. So that sounds stupid. Really it. If it's Low a mileage. good price, we'll we'll stick to it. If it starts Low going mileage. stupid, then we won't do. But um, get this uh, events this out of the way. So far, so good. No one wants to bid. So we might go nine. Okay, so someone's bid. Is this now gonna? We got a lot of bidders here, or are we still sticking to a couple of people? Well, that was looking a bit promising at the start. Should we do it? Let's do it. Okay, right. I'm going to go and leave that now at 12.50. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that one. Right. Okay, so we've got a couple more to today. To go. We're probably not going to get them, but uh, yeah, we'll see what we do and see how we get on. Ah, oh, so how annoying. Um, Nvidia decided that it wanted to do an update on the screen record, so I missed the purchasing of the 2011 Fiat 500 Lounge. Uh, I was the only bidder on it. So, managed to get that for 950 out the door uh, 1242 and this is the one that has the cat s as well as the cat n labels 63000 miles so actually relatively low and the damage is this front bumper here i've got a number of white front bumpers actually i've got two so technically just need to unbolt this check that DRL unbolt this I think might need a headlight kit from what I can remember let me just double check yeah so I say it's easy let's you know 
that's that's just not count our chickens. Um, I'm just reminded the MOT said all the tyres were worn, so it could be that we need all four new tyres, but it could also be that they had new tyres put on. So until this turns up, I do not know. Uh, delivery from Sandwich, I'm going to say, is around. It wouldn't surprise me if I can get this for, in total, about 1400 including delivery. Um, that's roughly what I think. Sandwich might be about 160 to delivery for me. Anyway, so I have put in car vertical the reg in now i've not checked this i've literally just purchased it so we're going to have a look to see for the first time what this car shows so no mileage problems no theft and no finance but we knew that there was an accident involved uh, manufactured claiming to be on the first of jan registered in the uk in March 2011. So, uh, won't worry about too much about the MOT. MOTs. Change of ownership 2018. Right. Damage detected in 2020 so we'll check that over so May 2020 was on sale this was, record was created due to the fact that the vehicle was listed for sale on a marketplace sometimes the country or vendor invites the actual location so that potentially was involved in an accident and then tried to be or was then sold now that could have gone through Copart I don't know and then again it was on sale in June. Then it was put through an MOT where it's failed. So ownership changed in December. So that could have been when someone bought it. Then we've had another fail and inspected, damage detected. And then this is this one. So two accidents. Uh, scroll through all of this. Don't have to worry about that. Stolen vehicle. Don't have to worry about that. Mileage. Don't have to... All oh, right. Okay. So they, they have said that there is a slight mistake here in the mileage. So either this one here was recorded wrongly. But yeah, that's not, not the worst in the world. So, uh, where else are we going? Okay, so oh, let's get rid of that. Okay, so damage unknown. Right, so we've got damage unknown for the f May 2020. And then this has actually been recorded as a cat in which is hence why it's in Copart. But at the moment, there is nothing to say any more on that. Um, so, cat in. That's all it says at the moment. I'm assuming there is a Cat S title to it. I find that Car Vertical... I don't know. But you see, I'd be interested to know where that was being up, put up for sale. But anyway. We haven't got... Ha 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 ha! That looks like a Copart entry, doesn't it? Interesting. So, well, there you go. 
So this was 2020 in May. And this would have been then. So if we scroll through. Oh, okay. This was May 2020. And you can see it was looks to be an X. So insurance. So it's had... The it, I'd yeah, it's gonna have probably likely to have had his rear done then because for some reason the tail lights are missing. There's a dink in the tailgate, and that chrome piece looks ever so slightly off. And that's definitely in a copart yard somewhere. There you go. Forty thousand miles on the clock. We've got that little triangle lit up again which is lit up on this picture as well. But you can see the dink in the corner there and that chrome that chrome bar is slightly bent, plastic bar is bent, but yeah, no rear tail lights, so and we're missing a door handle. There you go. So I wonder what that went for in the end. And then they talk about beware of various problems. So there you have it. Let's just quickly double check on the rear of this. So that's either had a new tailgate. No, actually, I'll tell you what, let's do a bit of investigation. Let's be... Okay, right. So we've got the crease here, as you can see. And we've got this sticker in the corner so when we look here that sticker is there so that's had that's either been pulled or filled so it's the same tailgate and the chrome bar has either been stuck on yeah so there you have it okay so that's the car so that's going to be interesting. So we'll take a good look around here at the back. But that's the car. Um, yeah. I And it's got the V5 with it. So that's good as well. So we don't have to pay for that. So yeah. Um, I think that's going to be it for today, everyone. So it's not really a bidding video. Well, it is a bidding video. But it's not a one full of loads of Fiat 500s. So we'll await for this to turn up, which will be uh, next week at some point, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for everyone for watching, and do not forget to hit the like button. Really appreciate that, and the subscribe button as well. We're coming along reasonably nicely. I don't know what we're going to hit come the 31st of December, but we're slowly moving along. But yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you all again very, very soon.